In this video, we're going to look at combinations. Now, we've already looked at permutations. That's where you're drawing some items out of a collection, so many items, and the order mattered. With combinations, that's the big difference, is order does not matter. The order of the elements that you draw does not matter. That's the big difference. So it is the number of ways in which you can draw R items from a set of N objects without order matter. And the equation for it is to take the, it's very similar to the permutations one, the number of items factorial over the number of items minus the ones you're drawing factorial, and also times R factorial. So let's just try and do a particular problem. Let's take 12, comes to 12 things, drawing 8 of them, and the order does not matter. So it would be 12 factorial over 8 factorial times 12 minus 8 factorial. So this would be 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 3 times 2 times 1. All over. 8 factorial. Now if you notice, this part right here is 8 factorial. So you want to use that idea. And then we also have 12 minus 8 factorial. So all of these will simplify out. And you're then left with 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 over 12 minus 8 is 4, 4 factorial. And then you also want to do some simplifying here. 4 times 3 is 12. There's my 12 there. 2 becomes a 1. 10 becomes a 5. So you're left now with 11 times 45, which is equal to 495. So how many ways are there to draw 12 thing, from 12 things, 8 things, 495, if the order does not matter? Also, before I go on, make sure you realize this is a wonderful tool right here, 8 factorial here, and the 8 factorial here simplify out. Let's look at a word problem now. We're going to have a deck of cards. We want to draw a five-card poker hand from that deck of 52 cards. So it's the combinations of 52 things, drawing five of them. So we want to find out. It doesn't matter which order those cards come to you in, just the cards themselves. So this is a combination, not a permutation. So what would it be? It would be 52 factorial over... 52 minus 5 factorial times 5 factorial. So, look at this one right here. 52, 5. We can get rid of that, use that. And we can use this idea right here, the biggie. 52 minus 5, that's 47. So we have 52 times 51 times 50, times 49, times 48, times 47. Now I'm going to stop right there. Put factorial. 5 factorials, 5 times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. 52 minus 5, that's 47 factorial. Well now, there is your 47 factorial. There it is here. So let's get rid of them. Now we could do some simplifying in here. And 5 times 2 is 10. So that makes this be a 5. Um, we can do some more. If we multiply these out, what we're going to end up with them is 2,598,960. So that's how many ways you could draw a 5 card hand when the order doesn't matter. Big thing here, Remember, order doesn't matter, that's combinations, and use this idea to help you simplify your work. Hope this helps you with combinations, and as always, have a very happy day.